Let's take a look at expressing fractions in simplest form. First of all, simplest form means that a fraction is in a form where we cannot divide by the same number on the top and the bottom. In other words, the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator is just one. Then it's in simplest form. None of these fractions are in simplest form, so let's take a look at them and get them there. This first one, 14 over 36. Well, if both pieces of a fraction are even, we can always divide it by 2. So let's start there. Just divide 14 by 2 and divide by 36 by 2. Remember, if we divide by something on top, we also have to do the same thing on the bottom. Otherwise, our fraction will take on a different value. So we divide 14 by 2. That gives us 7. And 36 divided by 2 is 18. Now, 7. Factors of 7 are 1 and 7. And 18 is not divisible by 7. It's divisible by 1, but that means that we've found our simplest form because the GCF of these two numbers is just one. So it's simplified. Let's take a look at this next one. Three over nine. Well, I find that it's helpful if we first look to see if this top number will go into the bottom one. If that's the case, then we'll just divide by the top number. In this case, that's true. Three goes into nine, so we can divide by three on the top and the bottom. So we'll divide by 3, top and bottom. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we're left with 1 third. Simplest form because, well, anytime we're left with a 1, it's got to be in simplest form. There's no more we can do to simplify. Let's take a look at this one. 18 over 12. First of all, this is an improper fraction because the numerator, 18, is larger than the, de than the denominator. We'll get to that in a little bit. We can simplify first because they're both even. So we can divide by 2 for sure. Hmm, can we divide by anything larger? Well, 18 and 12 are both divisible by 3. Hmm, 18 and 12 are both divisible by 6. But, you know, if we want, we can just divide by 2. We'll get there either way. We'll take a look at that. Divide by 2, top and bottom. 18 divided by 2 is 9 over 12 divided by 2 is 6. Well, now we have to look. Can we divide by anything else? Sure we can. 3. So we'll divide by 3 on the top and the bottom. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. We can't divide by anything else. Now, let's go back. And I also said that we could divide these by 6. So if we just did that right away, would we get the same answer? Let's see. Divide by 6, top and bottom. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Sure enough. It doesn't matter if it takes you more than one step. It's okay. But just make sure that you get to a point where you cannot simplify any further. Now, we still have that improper fraction. We need to do something about that. Well, if we have an improper fraction, what we need to do is take the bottom number and see how many times we can take that out of the top number. How many twos can we get out of three, in other words? Well, there's one, two, and three, so that's our whole number. Then, how many do we have left after we take that one, two out of the three? Well, we have one left, so we have one and one-half is our mixed number. Now, if you'd like, you could pause the video and try the other three problems for yourself, and then you'll see the solutions to those as well. All right, let's take a look at these last three. This first one, 12 over 40. Hmm, what can we divide by? Well, let's try dividing by 4, top and bottom. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Can 3 go into 10? Nope. So we're done. How about this one? 22 over 4. They're both even, so I know for sure I can divide by 2. So divide by 2, top and bottom. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 
Now we can't simplify anymore, but we have an improper fraction. So we need to see how many twos we can take out of 11. Well, two times five is 10. So that's our whole number. Then if we take away 10 from 11, we have one left. So five and one half. And finally, two over eight. Let's see if this two goes into eight. Sure it does. So let's divide by two, top and bottom. Divide by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. There were some examples of expressing fractions in simplest form, both improper fractions and your standard kind of fractions. Hopefully it was helpful. Good luck.